When India was still under the rule of colonial powers, people were made to believe that the traditional design system, the traditional art and craft system was just artsy. It had no real value and it had no real scale. It had no real economic viability, just funky amateur art. But after India got its independence, Jawaharlal Nehru commissioned two industrial designers, Ray and Charles Ames, to produce a report on how to encourage innovation and design in India. And the report they would write would lead to the creation of National Institute of Design. What's up folks? Today we are starting a new series of paper discussion where we're going to discuss technical and non-technical papers. And the first paper we are picking up is called the India Report. Written in 1958 by Ray and Charles Ames, two industrial designers known for their contribution in architecture and furniture design were invited to India by Jawaharlal Nehru, Nehru and sponsored by Ford Foundation to write a report on how can India encourage innovation in design. This is also around the time where nations that got independence from colonial powers after World War II were starting to realize that what they were taught around their traditional systems, value systems and their traditional design and their traditional knowledge was not valuable, was starting to realize that that was their true identity and it had real economic value. This is also around the time they would get together and declare themselves as an alternate force in the world, calling themselves the third world nations. This is the time when Ray and Charles Ames come to India to study, to, they travel across the country, they meet artisans, craftsmen, local people, local governors, tons of folks to study local lives, local value system. What the government was perhaps expecting was the report on feasibility, was a report on what is possible in India, that probably we should focus on some things earlier than the other. But what they got instead was a very different report. What they got was a recommendation of talking about design as a value system in building of a nation. And now that we know the context around this report, we can dive into its content. The report begins by a quote from Bhagavad Gita. It talks about food, shelter, distribution and population and communication as primary problems which should remain a challenge for India even today. Three advantages to talk about that India has. The first advantage is she has a traditional philosophy familiar with the meaning of creative destruction. Second, she need not make all the mistakes others have made in the transition. And third, her immediate problems are well defined. Food, shelter, distribution and population. And they picked up one object to celebrate Indian design, the local Indian design, a very peculiar object very common to Indian households, you will recognize it immediately. This was the great and mighty Lota. My friends, a Lota. Go on to go in great lengths to describe point by point the technical specification that goes into making a Lota and the versatile uses it may have because of it. Of all the objects we have seen and admired during our visit to India, the Lota, that simple vessel of everyday use, stand out at perhaps the greatest, the most beautiful. The village women have a process which with use of tamarind and ash each day turns this brass into gold. Of course, they're talking about glorifying the washing of the lota. But how would one even go about designing a lota? First, one would have to shut out all preconceived ideas on the subject and then begin to consider factor after factor. The optimum amount of liquid to be fetched, carried, poured and stored in prescribed set of circumstances. And then they go on to describe all the criteria that a lota would have to meet. And then they go on to argue that no one person could have done lota design in this paragraph saying no one man designed the lota but many men over many generations, many individuals who represented in their own way through something they may have added or may have removed or through some quality of which they were particularly aware. Of course, we see Lota as a basic concept turned into multiple kinds of objects from Gada Surahi and that shape turns into multiple usable objects still today. That's what they celebrate as Indian design. At this point, the report goes on to make two important recommendations. One of setting up an institute for design and goes on to describe what kind of people should be there that should teach in that institute and what kind of student it should take. One of the most interesting parts to me uh, when they were talking about the institute was how they recommend we should measure the effectiveness of this institute. And they go on to say effectiveness will vary as the square of the caliber of the staff it attracts and as the cube of the degree to which the staff and student become personally involved. Apart from cringe, the point to be noted is that they talk about the quality of staff matters, but what really, really matters is the connection and the communication between the staff and the students. Not the marks, not the projects, 
not the results but communication and relationships they make and then they talk about recommending what kind of students this institute should take up and then they go on to say these are graduate architects immediate note of warning graduate architects are recommended not because of their design training but in spite of it so when they're talking about what kind of student should be admitted to this college they recommend architect student architecture student but not because they have some design background but instead because they have familiarity with process with local resources they know local language they are aware of how a local lifestyle and um, traditional value system should be studied before designing something there's an interesting paragraph to look at the details are really important and very interesting with some few but encouraging exceptions the architectural students design are an ensemble of inappropriate cliches the students themselves seem much brighter than their designs the disciplines of physics and chemistry are not unknown to them that line basically is academic sass interesting critique of indian education system which i 100% agree with i'm going to try and contain my laughter and go back to reading the paper naturally they need not all be architects an equally responsible young engineer economist doctor mathematician philosopher or a housewife might also be a candidate they also go on to say that other folks can be students as well but they also go on to give a warning specifically around people who have very rational and academic fields warning in selecting candidates for these posts one must be extremely careful about applicants discontented with their present work or anyone who would look upon the work in the institute as his chance to be creative also in this connection beware of the professional or specialist who when confronted with a problem of to do with the design seem suddenly to abandon the disciplines of their own profession and put on this art hat this can happen to those who are otherwise most rational doctors engineers politicians philosophers sort of assigned, you know traditionally rational field folks think that design is creative design is artistic design is expressive but design is not that describe the effectiveness of the program which is very similar to effectiveness of the institute the effectiveness of the program will depend on the communication links it's established some staff members must be prepared to work and train in communication techniques like exhibition graphics printing photography film demonstration writing drama through these devices the institute will communicate to itself and to the nation so are they successful is this institute doing what they were supposed to do they talk about the director of institute should perhaps not be a professional designer he should weird usage of word i hope they meant it generally like he or she he should be a mature man okay and then it goes on to recommend project and specifically four projects it recommends that 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 institute should run project number a is about studying the standard of living go to local areas of india study what local value system is and define standard of living that can be shared across the country project b talks about examining old problems like food and shelter in new light in new technology and new innovation project c talks about setting up standards for services and products that can be standardized across the nation and yet remain flexible to requirements the local requirements in realities of the country and they go on to give post office as, as a brilliant example that we all can send certain kind of mail telegrams speed post but Post offices change location to location, cover a vast number of area, and are highly versatile in what kind of people they employ, how much employment they have, what kind of services they have, what is the frequency of services they run. So that they go on to give that kind of example, and we see that to be true till today, where we see not only shampoos and toothpaste coming in sachets in small quantities for certain populations and areas, but we also see loans coming in sachets. Project D talks about creating a symbolism, a symbolic identity, a visual identity for India that Indians, all Indians, can identify to. And that pro project goes on till today. It's an ongoing project, right from Ashoka Chakra Tiranga to the rupee symbol and the UPI symbol. All of these are national symbols. All of these are symbols that are still being designed, being improved on, being iterated, and they all enforce the national identity. So these are the four important projects that the report talks about. and this paper 3 years later led to creation and establishment of national institute of design the interesting part is that the paper recommends that the institute should come under department of communication department of ministry of corporate affairs but nid national institute of design actually comes under department of scientific and industrial research under ministry of science and technology under government of india and 
Did it do all the four projects? Does it actually measure its, its effectiveness like the paper recommend? Not read the paper already? Go check out the link in the description. Go take a read and let me know what you folks think. Do you think NID did its, is doing its job? Is it true to its origin, the paper where it originates from? The couple who wrote this report later on was so impressed by Nehru, they uh, created a Nehru exhibition which went around the world and parts of which are in Pragati Madan, Delhi. The funny thing in, in the entire episode is perhaps to me is the circumstances and the outcome of the report. They were brought in as two foreigners in a country which they perhaps don't understand that well and may not have the background and nuances to understand them. And but what they go on to recommend is something completely opposite which is anti-orientalism, that you study your own local values, come up with your own systems, celebrate your own design, celebrate your own identity. So three things, do read the report, let's talk about what you think, what are the specifics of the institute that you like and the projects that you like, what did they really happen, how true is, true is the institute to the report that started it and should it have been or not. And the last thing, what are the next papers we should discuss in this series. Thank you so much for watching.